Good afternoon, everybody. This is Chris Lettner. I'm going to take you through a presentation today on how to enhance your Dynamics GP and Business Central e-commerce shipping. A little bit about V Technologies first before we get started. Uh, the company was founded in 87. We've been supporting uh, Dynamics GP or Great Plains uh, for over 20 years. And just in the last year, we've also introduced the uh, 365 BC connector. Starship's uh, used by over 10,000 businesses in the country, uh, both the US and Canada today currently. A few things uh, to point out about the GP integration and uh, Business Central that you may not be familiar with. Uh, we offer a plug-in uh, for both uh, small package and LTL shipments now, over 20 LTL carriers, and that'll give you the ability to move data between the two systems and write back uh, information crucial to your invoicing process, like freight charges, tracking numbers, and pro numbers. Uh, there's a light fulfillment module available for GP in order to uh, change the quantities of um, a product that uh, you're going to invoice. That can be done right from the Starship screen. We also have uh, integration to some uh, popular WMS products like uh, High Jumps uh, Collect for GP, as well as Panatrack. Uh, Starship also gives you the ability to do rate quotes. Uh, you have an option of calling up uh, rate quoting from within sales order processing uh, right from the order screen, or you also have a rate quote utility uh, that can be used independent of, uh, of GP, and those don't affect the number of seats on your user license. Starship is also available now in both uh, on-prem and cloud flavors, so you now have the ability to uh, go month to month, and you can also pay for um, Starship based on the number of transactions you're using versus the uh, uh, permanent uh, on-prem license. So if you're interested in that, feel free to contact me or your customer account manager and we can give you more info on the Starship Cloud option. And of course, you have the uh, Dynamics uh, 365 Business Central integration that's now available. You can also find that up on the uh, Microsoft App Source portal. Quick look here at uh, some of the carriers that uh, are available with Starship. Uh, we have a whole range of uh, options for both parcel and freight. Uh, we're continually adding to that. Uh, you'll see some new names here uh, for the uh, Canadian services like Canpar, Canada Post. Um, we've recently added that into Starship as well, Purolator, with the ability to support origins uh, to the north. And uh, we're constantly uh, adding new uh, platforms as well. We have also introduced FreightView, which is a web-based uh, TMS platform uh, that we've uh, partnered with in order to expand our carrier and 3PL options. Uh, today, the reason we're here uh, for the webinar is to focus more on the e-commerce aspect of Starship. Uh, and that can be used in conjunction with, uh, with GP or 365, or can be used independent. So you can ship against uh, your cart platform or your um, marketplaces where you may be selling product like Amazon or eBay, Etsy, or if you have a shopping cart based on one of the uh, popular platforms out there. Uh, we have over a dozen different uh, options available. Uh, so some names you may recognize here, Magento, Shopify, Volusion, eBay, OpenCart, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, Amazon, Etsy, Press the Shop, XCart, 3D Cart and New Egg are now available as options uh, modules that you can add into Starship. I should mention uh, with the cloud platform, you also get access to all of the different e-commerce modules. Um, so all of those are available uh, with the license for the cloud product. And with that, we're going to cut to a quick demo. Let me change screens here, of course. Okay. First, we're going to take a look at the e-commerce option. Uh, same sort of workflow with Starship. That will come up in your browser here. We are able to uh, ship against your e-commerce transactions, and uh, you'll be able to do that uh, in the same fashion as GP. You put in the order number, and Starship will connect over to your, your cart through their API. Uh, in this instance, we're using Shopify here. So I'm going to go ahead and pick a sales transaction and ship that out. That'll bring over all of the uh, same type of information from your shopping cart as we're bringing over from GP. I have the order information here, ship to, ship from, do a value translation on the ship method or the ship via codes. Uh, all of your products will come over from the cart as well. Uh, we'll do the rating here based on the uh, carrier and service coming over from the ship method. 
Uh, you can also, you know, pack out your goods here in Starship as well. So if you want to do multiple uh, packages, you can pack them out here on the main screen. There's also this uh, new packing assistant as well. Let you add boxes here and then uh, break open those items and put them into their own container. Uh, Starship also has the you know, custom packaging option, or you can add all of your own containers in here into the database. And that could also accommodate the dimensions, so you can compare the dimensional weight versus the actual weight. If you have weights in inventory, those will come over as well. You switch back to the main screen here. Come back over here and process our shipment. With that, that's going to push all the data into the shopping carts, update the status over on the carts, and then uh, also uh, send out email notifications to your customer, mark that as fulfilled. You can also do that through GP or 365. We'll pull that up over here. And we can accomplish the same sort of workflow by shipping the orders out of the ERP and marking a few extra fields of data to signify which cart you're going to ship against and the cart order. So I'm gonna ship one of my orders here we've prepared. And basically those two fields of information will tell Starship uh, that this is an e-commerce order and we can go ahead and ship that. It's basically transparent to the user. They don't really have anything different that they need to do on this side in order to ship the order. Uh, we're gonna map over the platform and the order number that we're going to ship against. And I'll show you back in GP where we can pull that from. Uh, same sort of process, go through and you know pack out your goods here. All right, once that's all packed up, you can go ahead and process the shipment. Uh, you also have the access to the rate shopping here as well. So you can take a look at the various carriers rates. I should mention we also offer discount postage rates available through uh, USPS as well. Uh, so you have an option of uh, doing a cost comparison between your ground rates between UPS, FedEx, and the post office as well. So you'll see here, it'll rate them based on the service type. Customer wanted UPS ground, so we'll go ahead and stick with that, but you can see other options available here to ship with. Go ahead and ship that out. And we'll have the benefit of the same sort of integration uh, with GP and the cart. We can update both places as well. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our shopping cart first here. So over on the cart, we're going to mark the order as fulfilled. So updates the status over there. Customers can log into your portal and see the tracking information. We're also gonna put back all the freight and the details from the shipment here into the notes field as well. And that will also update your GP tables too. So what I've done in order to uh, tie in the integration with the shopping cart, if you have um, some sort of connection uh, between your uh, e-commerce platform and GP, all those orders go into the ERP system. And uh, what we've done is map a couple of flags here. I've put in the user defined field, a flag here that tells us what cart platform we're pulling from. And I've taken the cart order number and placed it in the uh, customer PO field here. That tells Starship that this is a Shopify order. We're going to go ahead and hit the, the API for the e-commerce platform and write back, write back all that additional detail. You'll still get the same benefits here where you'll have visibility to the tracking information, your freight costs, and then, of course, the order header notes with all the detail from the shipment. It's just that easy. Let me take you kind of a little bit behind the scenes on the mappings here to show you the nuts and bolts of how that works. In our mappings, uh, we're going to tell Starship on the order level to look in those fields in GP so we can pull in uh, the platform that we want to use. So if you have multiple shopping carts or different marketplaces that you're selling on, 
Starship will be able to tell the difference between those two. So here we have our user defined field. I flagged it in the ordered by field and we can do value translations on the different carts or marketplaces here. So we can ship against multiple e-commerce platforms without the user having to treat the order any differently. And then here I've told Starship to look in my GPPO number field in order to retrieve all that data as well. So very easy. Um, you put in your credentials for the uh, cart in the Starship. You can connect up directly to that. And then mapping over these two bits of information here, you'll be able to easily you know, pull those orders out of GP with the same workflow and then update both locations, basically streamlining that whole fulfillment process for your e-commerce orders. Let's go ahead and flip the switch over to Business Central. And the same sort of workflow that you have with GP, you also have with Business Central. Looks like I didn't switch that correctly. Give me one sec. Uh, all of your order uh, orders that have uh, pending trans transactions with uh, quantities available against them that have been released within uh, Business Central will appear here in this view. Um, you can drill down into a subset of that data here by adding a filter and you have any of these fields here from the order header that we can sort by. You can also sort here on the columns in order to an Excel file. All right, we'll go ahead and pull up this transaction here and start the shipping process. Same sort of functionality with Business Central. It's gonna pull over all your order header information, ship to, ship from, um, your ship via code, we'll translate that as well. Uh, you can always you know, come into Starship and select a different service here if you choose. Or you can also do the rate shopping. And we'll go out and look for multiple carriers. Same sort of packing process as well. We'll go ahead and break this out into two containers. Okay. Those will push back into Business Central, same as we do for GP. Uh, one big difference here with the um, line items, we have the ability to um, allocate any um, lot serial uh, numbers here from the Starship side. So if you're if you have products that are a lot serial traced, you'll have the ability to allocate those here right from the Starship screen. And again, your rates will be calculated here. You can drill down into the rates and see how we came up with that. Any additional handling you can run the rate shop. That'll give you a list of rates that you can do a cost comparison with. We'll go ahead and stick with UPS again and process the shipment. I should mention you also have um, additional uh, options for shipping against um, uh, Business Central. You have uh, orders, invoices. You can just pull up a customer address or you can also ship individual order lines as well. Take a look back here over in Business Central. So we have our freight here added to the order. Starship will fill in all of the notes from the shipment. You also have user defined fields, so you can add some custom fields in the Starship setup here if you want to add some additional data coming back in. And Starship will also place a link here uh, with the tracking information that will take you to that shipment as well, directly from the BC inquiry screen. That'll call up the transaction in our dashboard. And from here, the user can come in, uh, reprint any labels or documents, take a look at the freight charges at how we arrived at that charge. 
and we'll have access to the tracking status, all the information from the shipment uh, that's easily retrieved directly from the Business Central screen here with this link. Covers just about all the uh, options we had prepared to show uh, today on the webinar. 